So here our last uh, carbonate mineral that we have is another of our copper carbonates um, and that's going to be azurite and I'm sure in some language that means something close to blue and you'll notice that all of these are blue. Um, the sample here is a little bit hard to tell um, but all of these blue mineralizations that we see here this is azurite and you'll notice that especially on this sample here we also have a lot of malachite growing like I said in that video these two minerals like to occur together all the time it's very common this sample here we can see the malachite on top of the azurite as well. And so when I'm thinking about these, we're in the carbonate family. We're used to seeing things that aren't super colorful. And like malachite, the dead giveaway for azurite is the fact that it's blue. And it has this really deep blue mineralization as well, the color, because here I'll bring in that um, calcite sample from earlier. We've got this pale, dusty blue. Compared to these, this this is so dark um, and that's a dead giveaway we have this sample here which i won't be doing any tests on because it's really it's a really beautiful sample but the blue is so deep and dark that it almost looks black except for around the edges where there's um, some fractures and breakage allowing more light through um, but this is a this is a really nice sample and this is kind of the full range that we can get we can get these weird honestly I don't even know what this thing is we can get this weird massive growth where it's growing on top of things that you would have seen in a mine or growing in a rock this form here it's growing in some kind of massive form where we're not seeing any crystal faces we have these forms where <laughs> They're almost like little little puff balls of azurite, but that deep blue is a dead giveaway. And just like with um, malachite, if we streak these, we should see blue as well. So I'll give this, this one looks pretty nice. Right, nice. So we can see that's the malachite there. Um, so we can see this beautiful blue color and the fact that this looks blue and then streaks blue as well. I don't know another mineral with a blue streak, <laughs> just like I don't know another mineral other than malachite with a green streak. So to me, the color of this and the color on the streak plate are dead giveaways. We also see a little bit more, especially with this beautiful sample, that vitreous luster that we're used to seeing in the rest of the carbonates, as well as a little bit of that curved crystal face. Um, which is really common. And then this one, we can see we've got that nice vitreous luster, but on a lot smaller faces. And this gives us more of that earthy luster um, that we saw a lot of in the malachite. Very earthy. And the hardness, now it was obviously hard enough to streak. And I know from fact that we will be able to scratch it with this nail. I don't want to ruin any of these. I'll give this one a good go. It is softer than a nail. And so that is what we see there. That's the indent that I made. Um, but it should be a little bit harder than a penny. So we're somewhere in that you know, 3.5 to 4 territory. This is also a monoclinic mineral as well. I'm trying to see, it's really difficult to see that kind of monoclinic form, but there we've got a little bit of a crystal face. Right there. And then this one to me looks like a cleavage face. Um, but the crystal, the variety of crystal habit of these is something that I always notice as well because they're happy to grow wherever as oxidization um, minerals. So I think we have covered everything except for the effervescence. And this one is not likely to effervesce. Um, I'll try this one. And remember, just with that malachite too, we want to make sure that we're um, trying to find complete grains of only azurite when we're doing the test. This one looks okay. We'll see. So I put the tiniest dot there. And I don't see any reaction at all. Wipe this off for you. And I think we have covered everything for this one other than I think density, which is moderately it's moderate density. It's not something that's incredibly noticeable. It's not very light and it's not very heavy. So that is azurite, the last of the carbonate minerals on your mineral list.